Hello again, everybody. My name is Timmy Trigo, and here I am again giving you another movie review. Today I am reviewing the film Sometimes They Come Back. Now, this is another Stephen King adaptation. Now, this one was uh, a CBS TV film that was released in 1991. Two mixed to positive reviews, um, and it's based on his short story of the same name. It currently holds a 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb and an 88% liking on Google. Now, this film was directed by Tom McLaughlin. And this film stars Tim Matheson, Brooke Adams, Chris Dimitro, Robert He Gorman, Robert Russler, Nicholas Sadler, Bentley Mincham. William Sanderson and Tasha Valenza. And this centers around a family uh, who is are the Norman family. You have Jim, Sally, uh, and Scott. And they go back to the hometown where uh, Jim grew up with his brother, Wayne. Wayne was his older brother. And this movie has flashbacks too. Uh, with him and his brother and uh, when they were kids they were returning books to the library and they are uh, stopped in this tunnel by this gang of youths there's four of them and they basically wanted all the money they had and wanted to take their shoes and everything they could and in doing so the older brother Stuck up, uh, stood up for his younger brother and ended up hitting one of these guys and of course his famous line is, is uh, nobody hits me and lives <clears throat> now whether he intentionally meant to stab him or not he ended up stabbing the older brother and he dies and in the midst of all this there's a train coming down the tunnel and so they hustle to get back in the car because the car is on the tracks and they try to get out of there but they couldn't find the keys. Now, later on in this movie, you're going to see flashbacks, and you're going to see what actually happens uh, uh, that day. But the, the three, uh, actually four of them, get back in the car, uh, and they're hit by the train. Well, he comes back to the town where he grew up to take a teaching job because he's had problems teaching uh, uh, in other schools, uh, apparently he threw a student out the window but uh, so he starts teaching and then one by one a student in his class is killed and is replaced by one of those boys that he had an altercation with many years ago with him and his brother and they all all four uh, which I thought were going to be uh, we're going to come back and take uh, a student out with them, but only three come back to join the classroom. And so later on in the film, I'll explain about that, but three of them come back and three students go missing. Um, one is Kate, the other one is Billy, and the other one is a jock, uh, Chip. And uh, these guys, the only people that can see them is, of course, Jim and uh, they can make themselves known uh, to others, uh, basically to scare them and whatnot. But everybody else, if you don't have that fear, then they can't see them. There's a scene in the movie where Billy is being chased on his bike uh, by them, but vehicles passing by and people just watching, they don't see a vehicle. The only vehicle they see is, is the teacher's van that is following him. And so ultimately, he gets looked at for the crime because uh, he was the only person that was going after him. Uh, but that's the basis of this movie. It's a revenge uh, movie. These three guys who were killed on that train wanted to come back from the, uh, the other side and redeem themselves and change the history. Well, towards the end of the movie, we, in the third act, we meet the fourth person from their gang who, like I said earlier, 
uh, you'll meet uh, in real life because he survived that crash. He got out of the car before the train hit the car, and he survived. Uh, so what they plan to do is to reenact that uh, same night or evening, and the only person they're missing is they got the three spirits or ghosts, if you want to call them that, and then they got their fourth partner, and of course you have Jim, uh, but you don't have Wayne. Well, lo and behold, the light, this light, big light <laughs> shows, and then Wayne comes walking out and stands by his, uh, who he thinks is his younger brother, Scott, but he didn't know that, you know, Jimmy's grown up. Uh, and so they redo the whole scene. Uh, they had seven cents on them then. They had school books. And they recreate the scene. But this time, uh, you find out that they dropped the keys. And so that's why they couldn't start the car to get out of there. But this, in my opinion, is one of my favorite Stephen King adaptations. This TV film, along with Stephen King's It, the two-part miniseries um, from 1990, I believe. I love both of them, although the second half of Stephen King's It uh, adaptation wasn't as good as the first, but we'll get into that to another time. But sometimes they come back. It's one of my favorites. Um, I don't know if it will crack the top ten, but it is one of my favorites. It's one I enjoy. Uh, Tim Matheson gives a great performance. I love the cast um, from the, the Bullies to the Norman family. You know, you got Brooke Adams, Chris Mitral as Wayne, uh, Robert Gorman as Scott. Uh, you'll know Robert Gorman from um, Rookie of the Year uh, and several other films I know he did. Uh, I think there's a Schwarzenegger film that he did too but regardless this is a very nice cast it's a great story I, I love the short story I love the book uh, and I love what they did here I honestly think that if they had a studio budget I think this film could have made some good money at the theater along with Stephen King's It but uh, regardless it's one of my favorites I love the story. I, I love the flashbacks going back and forth. I love the passion and love he has for his uh, his dead brother. And I love the, the passion he has for teaching and for his students, except for the ones that uh, are his nemesis. Uh, but all that being said, I highly recommend that you check this out. You should be able to find this on Xfinity On Demand or Netflix. Uh, they did make two sequels. Uh, sometimes they come back again, and sometimes they come back for more. I haven't watched those. I'm not going to waste my time. I don't even know who's in those films. All I know is I love this original uh, adaptation. And uh, if they were going to remake a Stephen King adaptation, this one could probably go for a remake, especially if they're going to put it out in theaters. Uh, I don't want it on Netflix because I don't have it, and I just don't like Netflix. But uh, definitely check it out. Uh, I give this, uh, sometimes they come back a 9 out of 10. It's, high, it's underrated in my opinion, as was the last film uh, that I uh, reviewed. So the comment section below, if you've seen this film, give me your thoughts and opinions. And let me know what your favorite Tim Matheson film is. For me, I loved him in National Lampoon's Animal House and Fletch. Those are the two. Uh, I'm trying to think there's something else. Oh, uh, Black Sheep with uh, Chris Farley and Davis Bay. He's really good in that too. So, but uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And please share my video, uh, Facebook, wherever. I would love to talk movies. I would love to talk with all of you. And I thank you all for who have subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time at another movie review. Take care.